the triple white Nike Air Force Ones. A clean and classic silhouette that remains timeless, but today we're gonna be taking a dive into a custom on these, so I hope y'all are ready. Let's get it and let's go. As you guys should know by now, prep is extremely important when coming to any sort of custom. We're gonna be using Agilus Leather Prep and Deglazer along with some cotton rounds in order to strip the factory seal off of these sneakers. This ensures that the custom is long lasting and durable. For the two paint choices, we're going with Aqua mixed with Joker Green. If you guys are in the market for paint or any custom supplies, hit the link down below in the description. That'll take you right to AngelusDirect.com. For the design, we're gonna be using these heat transfers from YouCreate.com. Shout out to the boy Brahma. I actually purchased this off of his site a while back and I never made this video so now we're here this is for all my folks that aren't super talented with the free hand you know what I'm saying that's me basically today I'm showing you a top-notch custom that you could do that is extremely simple so hopefully you guys try it out on your own we're also going to be using this little cardboard folder thing this is going to be our stencil for the airbrush this is optional if you guys don't have an airbrush don't even trip about it but I want to push myself and see if I could replicate what Brahma did but just add my own sneakerhead in the bay flair to it we're also going to need a heat gun and a mini iron. We'll also need some sort of mixing jar and too thin to mix with our airbrush solution. In order to start this custom, I'm going to start prepping the areas that I plan on having the butterflies on. I have three butterflies I can use per shoe, so I'm thinking about the heel, maybe somewhere in this area, and then maybe the toe box. We'll see. But once I figure everything out, I'm just going to start prepping this all for the airbrush. If you're doing this at home, you can be real creative with it. Just do what you think looks right. I'm going to hit it from the jump. Kitty child tucked in the trunk. Little shawty bustin' off a ten bands. Chop margarina, hit the rain dance. Bitch, she ain't flexin', got no game plan. Money rollin' in it, she like the train man. Fake y'all phony like a mannequin. Little bitch, know that I'm the man again. Short of being scrape it up and bag it in. Chopper going hit just like a Viking. Before anybody starts roasting me about my long fingernails, to be honest with you, it's a lot easier to work with them. I've been doing a lot of bandana customs lately, and I use my nails to kind of just push the material into the cracks. So that's why, okay? Your boy's not grimy, I swear to God. But yeah. Now you know. I'm just going to go with two butterfly images on each sneaker. So where I'm going is one right here in the back and then one right here near the toe box. I don't want to do anything over the toe box because this part creases a lot and I feel like when you ever add paint to a part that creases, it's just more likely to crack in the future. Like I said, I want these to be very durable sneakers. I want to wear them. I just want to be those customs that, you know, I can enjoy wearing without worrying about anything. But like I said, if you guys have three logos and you want Want to use three go for it but we're only doing the heel and then this part right here bitch she ain't flexing got no game plan money rolling in it's like the train man fake y'all phony like a mannequin little bitch i'm the man again sort of being scrape it up and bag it in chopper going hit just like a bike it in i'ma hit it from the jump kid the chopper tucked in the trunk little shawty busted off for 10 bands Chop margarina hit the rain dance bitch she ain't flexing got no game plan money rolling in it's like the train man fake y'all phony like a mannequin so we're gonna get to mixing. So we're gonna be using Joker Green and Aqua 8 right here. Huge shout out to Brahma for these color mixtures. I was actually watching his video and he said that, you know, this helps it pop a little bit more. It gives it that neon look. So I wouldn't have known that. I probably would have just went with the Aqua. Shout out to Brahma for that. And just a quick tip, whenever you're mixing paint, actually mix a little bit more than you expect to use because sometimes you'll be almost done with the custom and you run out and it's almost impossible to get that exact same color again. Let's do it. After a few test sprays, I think we're good to go. I actually like the first butterfly that I did. I was experimenting with how I was holding the template. So the closest to this object, like literally just flat on it, was this one. This one, I kind of pulled it off a little bit. And then this one, I left like maybe half an inch or a little gap between the stencil and the actual object. And it came out like this. All right, y'all, I think I'm ready to go. There's really no going back from here. So pray for me, guys. Let's do it. Pinky ring up, I do the shock, bruh I do not am ballin' out on all of y'all When it comes to Guala, I done got a lot 
Model bitches, my bitch look like Tony Claus Got that friend with a ooh ooh Go there and rings and a little hoops Two bands for the vet my boots I'ma just watch like Don Rouge Sound like a hawk with the way I swoop you up this shit simple, baby don't do too much I mean I need a bit of that extra special Boom bap that instrumental Shake it up on my head, just catch it I don't wanna drive it Alright, so first shoe was done Noob mistake, man I forgot to take the laces out Oh, God So we got a little bit of overspray on that But it's all good I'll just replace them with some fresh laces we're about to get started on the next step right here, which is to get your butterfly image and some of the transfer paper that came with it. All we're going to do is lay this out, peel the top of this transfer paper. See, this is where the nails come in handy. All right, this paper part, garbage. And we're just gonna place this over our image. Okay, just like that. Now you're gonna notice it is three parts now. It has the transfer paper on top, the actual image, and the image that's holding the butterfly. So we can remove that image now. We can remove the back part of it, which just leaves the butterfly itself. Just like that. The mini iron has been heating up for about 10 to 15 minutes, so it's good to go. It should be super hot by now. All we're going to do is take the butterfly and we're going to place it wherever we want it to be. So I'm going to kind of aim for the middle of where we sprayed, okay? We have a little bit of overspray, so that's how you get that like glow effect. But we're going to do something like that, okay? And then we're just going to iron it on. The heat will actually transfer it to the sneaker. After that, we're going to heat it with a heat gun, press it down with our fingers, and that's pretty much the wrap for this custom. Yeah. Hey, loose shaka, aligning my chakras, popping like a yapa. I get it, no problem. With my crew sauce, now you look retarded. Why bitch look like Carla? Ride me like a heart. All right, you guys, this is where we are at with the custom. Now, we're getting very close to the end, and last thing I wanted to throw in here is just to add some matte finisher over the butterfly and over the spray effect. As you guys can see, it looks a little bit shiny. I'm not really a big fan of the shiny look, so we're gonna hit it with matte finish with the airbrush, and then we're gonna call it a day. Look at the difference. So I sprayed this left butterfly right here and you see the difference from the right? The right butterfly is still pretty shiny and the one on the left actually looks like it's airbrushed on or it looks like it's a piece of it. I think it just looks a lot better with the matte finish. You guys let me know what you think in the comment section down below. I'm really happy with it. I think this like little shiny look looks a little bit tacky and it looks like it was just overlaid on top of it but the matte one actually looks like it's part of the shoes. I think this custom is going to be a success. All right, look how shiny it is right there. You actually see it, right? I just really want to spend some time alone. Fake friends, never had no time for those. Ain't it for the money, are you selfish and it shows? I don't even pick up when you hit me on my phone. I just keep it on and need to know. Damn, these joints look really freaking good, man. Oh my God. Maybe this should be a thumbnail right here. I've been zoning up that last surgery. Yeah, 
Yeah, my baby girl are done perfect Tryna lay low, but my line jugging Please don't hit me, girl, cause I'm working I guess you could say I'm in my bag And I've been feeling like that shit was Prada All my shorts and they can get the chopper Talking helicopters just for me All right, you guys, that is about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. I haven't done a custom video in a while and I felt really good to do one again. I had a lot of fun with this one. The one that you saw in this video is going to be my personal pair, but I might be giving one away on Instagram. So make sure you're following me at sneakerhead in the bay. And if you guys enjoy customs, I have a bunch of custom stuff on my website. This goes for beanies, watch bands, phone cases, etc., etc. So if you guys want to support this channel and cop something, I have the link down below in the description. I'm doing a special right now on Gucci beanies. They're only $39.99 while supplies last. So if you need a beanie, you know where to go. I'll catch you guys very soon for the next video. It's your boy Sneakerhead in the Bay. I'm out. Peace. Blueberry, Burberry, Bunna. Tan skin, mixed race, buttercup. Canada weather, got a bundle up. I'm trying to work, she hit my phone, she wanna. Whoa. Too bad was you know they roll.